Hi there, this is Edcore with the Deets, and every once in a while I get these debates about uh, trash hauling um, between Minneapolis and St. Paul, and how they go about doing it, and which way is better. Um, rather than have this debate over and over and over again, I thought next time it happens I can just point people to this video, and hopefully that'll uh, help at least illuminate people on kind of where I think this uh, best way to do this kind of thing is. So let me show you uh, how I kind of see how this stuff goes down. So just to back up, in Minneapolis, the city has a municipal trash hauling, so they come down and collect every house on each block on a regular basis, and you just pay a monthly utility. In St. Paul, everyone contracts with their own private collector, so the difference is that on the same block, uh, people will have different trash haulers. So I'll show you how that makes a difference. So um, this is an illustration of what it can look like in St. Paul. So this is, this is meant to illustrate one block of the city of St. Paul, and I've color-coded each of the houses on either side of the block, um, with the idea being that they would each use different haulers in different situations. So here's how it actually would work out then during the week. So you have the blue houses, and here comes the dump truck. Stops here, stops here, here and here, and here, and then it goes and loops back around, because that's the other side of the street, picks up two there, and it's done. So there's blue, and then next, the next day, here comes the green truck. Maybe it's on a different day, maybe it's on the same day. Stops there, stops there, stops there. Circles around, boom, 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 and done. So there's two, and then the orange people, for whatever reason, they didn't like the blue company or the green company, so they got their own, so they went here, and they came back around there, 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 and out. And then there's one person who just has to be different, so along comes another truck, and you know, maybe this isn't a cul de sac, so let's just say it just keeps able to come right through, and boom, there's the red guy. So, in all, we have um, green, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put that there. And then we had the one red. There. Orange, one, two, three, four. And blue, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, fourteen. So, a total of 19 uh, you know, stops on the street. But it took four trucks to do it, so there were four things that had to pass down and back across the street. So there's four times more traffic on the street than there would be if there had just been one truck that was able to do all of this. So to me, the reason this is inefficient is, for one, you have four trucks going down the street, heavy, you know, utility, industrial type trucks. So it's going to cause more road damage. And when it causes more road damage, it's not just causing, you know, you know, people are complaining about potholes and things like that, but, you know, that's also going to cause money because who's going to repair the roads, so it's offset in that way. We're also going to have more congestion, because I don't know if you've ever spent any time, uh, you know, behind a dump truck, but they don't exactly move fast, and they make a lot of stops. So you're going to waste some of your time just stuck in the congestion that causes, and just having more dump trucks on the road, uh, achieving the same type of work. Noise, another issue, so that's also a time one, I think, because, you know, it's going to be out there, chance of being woken up is higher if you have four trucks are coming through your neighborhood all the time. You know, pollution, that one goes to health. You know, a lot of different things can be affected there, but, you know, asthma would be something your kids might matter, care about. And danger, I mean, danger, you also have that can tie to pollution. Um, you know, pollution can also tie to, you know, global warming, energy, eco-type situations. Uh, the chance of just having a collision with a dump truck obviously is higher if there's more trucks on the road. So to me, these are some pretty decent reasons why it's just better to have everyone on the same path. You know, on a block like this, I'm sure there are situations where everyone hates this person because why can't they just use the same brand as the blue people so we have one less truck going down our block? But if that's the case, why don't you just get it down to one truck that goes down the block and takes care of all of it? It just seems a lot more efficient to me. So, you know, if you agree or disagree, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. So that's just my opinion on this, and I hope it makes some sense. Thank you.